Hi there guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas and guys we'll be continuing with our discussion on diagonal scales. So this is going to be the second problem in this lecture series. It's a really long lecture series. Um, it has as many as 7 to 8 more problems. And uh, let's see what this particular problem has in store. So here we go. So we have this question. The RF of a scale showing miles, furlongs and change is 1 over 50688. Draw a scale to read up to 5 miles and show on it the length representing 3m, 5f and 3ch that is 3 miles, 5 furlongs and 3 chains alright so we have this representative fraction okay 1 over 5, 0, 6, double, 8 and at the same time we have this maximum length in the form of 5 miles so the scale should be good enough, long enough to read up to 5 miles accurately okay uh, let's move forward and let's get the value of the length of scale okay now length of scale is given by this formula rf multiplied by maximum length just put, put up these values and you're gonna have this so right now the status is that length of scale is being calculated in this miles but we don't want this to be in miles we want this to be in centimeters rather so we've got to do a whole lot of conversion in this now one mile is equivalent to eight furlong one furlong is equivalent to 220 yards one yard is equal to three feet one feet is equal to 12 inches one inches is one inch in fact is equivalent to 2.54 centimeter okay so many steps now just do this calculation make use of a calculator and you're gonna have this value as the length of scale 15.8 centimeters approx fine let's get started with the construction so we need to draw a line which represents 15.8 centimeters uh, which in reality represents a distance of 5 miles now this line over here represents 5 miles and to see a division of 1 mile each you need to divide this line into 5 equal parts and for that the steps the process rather it's pretty simple just draw a line over here of any length and of any at any suitable angle in fact and just put in points equally spaced one centimeter apart or you can also uh, put up arcs of radii one centimeter something like this okay so these are the five arcs for five divisions along this line okay now let's join this point with this point with the help of a mini drafter so keep your mini drafters along this line tighten the screw bring it to the fourth point draw a line keep on doing so and eventually you're going to realize that all these lines have turned up parallelly and this line eventually gets divided into five equal parts fine so each division so this was a five mile long line and as it has got divided into five equal parts so each division is of one mile okay so we're gonna start by the end of this first division somewhere over here this is gonna be zero this is gonna be one mile two mile three mile four mile towards the right of zero we have mile as the unit and at the center okay we have rf and over here towards the left of zero we have the immediate smaller unit to mile what is the immediate smaller unit to mile it's obviously furlong okay now let's move ahead um, as far as diagonal scales are concerned, you need to give them some height. This height by default, I suggest my students to take it as 5 centimeters. You can take it as 6 centimeters or 7 centimeters, but don't go beyond that. That's it. That's it. Let's join it and let's produce lines from vertical lines rather from 0, 1, 2, 3. All right. So that's the overall skeleton of a diagonal scale. What's the next step? Let's see. Now guys, this portion over here represents a distance of 1 mile. 1 mile, we know, is equivalent to 8 furlongs. So if you want to see a division of 1 furlong each along this portion over here, you need to divide this portion, this line, into 8 equal parts. And for that, follow the steps. You need to draw a line of any suitable length at any suitable angle. You need to put in arcs over here, 5 centimeter arcs, probably 5 millimeters, sorry. Um, 5, 6, 7... How many, how many, how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. That's it. This is this is the eighth point I'm talking about. All right. Now join this point with this point over here. Keep your drafters along this line, aligned along this line. Tighten the screw, bring it to this seventh point. Draw a line, keep on doing so. And they should turn out parallel. And eventually you're gonna realize that this portion gets divided into eight equal parts. Now, now comes the concept of a diagonal. Now, guys, uh, this portion, this much represents one furlong from this point to this point it represents two furlong and so on okay so what basically we're going to be doing here is that we're going to join this point this one furlong with this zero furlong something like this now keep your drafters along this line align along this line tighten the screw bring it to this point draw a line keep on doing so until all the points 
have been exhausted that's it now you should realize that this portion also represents a distance of one furlong okay fine moving ahead let's write this as one two three four furlong five six seven and this is going to be eight furlong so main unit done subunit done but what about the sub sub unit now sub sub unit in this case is a chain and one furlong is equivalent to 10 chains so this much portion over here represents one furlong that means it also represents 10 chains but are we going to do 10 divisions over here uh, well that does not look possible man so something else has to be worked out okay so what we're going to do is this vertical line over here I'm going to be dividing this vertical line into 10 equal parts. Okay, so for that, follow the steps. It's going to be pretty simple. Draw this line, okay? Random length at any angle. Put up 10 arcs. Okay, you, in, instead of arc, you can also put up, keep your ruler over here. And then uh, you can place points 5 mm apart. Okay, that can also be done. But the number of points is, are going to be 10. The number of arcs also are going to be 10. Fine, so that's the 10th point. Let's join this point with this over here. Okay, keep your drafters aligned along this line. Tighten the screw, bring it to the ninth point. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and that's one. Clearly see that this vertical line has got itself divided into 10 equal parts. Next steps, pretty simple. Keep your drafters aligned along this line or set it horizontally. And you need to draw horizontal lines from all these points, all these points, something like this. That's it. Now guys, watch this carefully. This portion represents a distance of one furlong, okay? one furlong that means you can also say that this represents a distance of 10 chains am i right yeah so this represents nine chain this is going to be eight this is going to be six seven sorry seven this is going to be six it's going to be five four three two we need to zoom on it one okay so that's why i'm going to write over here zero this is going to be five chain this is going to be 10 chain okay and that's the unit chain the sub sub unit i was talking about okay now Construction of this scale is over and with the help of this scale you need to show a particular dimension that was I guess 3 mile 3 m 5 f and 3 ch 3 miles 5 furlongs and 3 chains So this is 3 mile and this over here this distance overall it represents 3 mile 5 furlong and 3 chains Let me show you why okay so let's take this as the benchmark okay from 3 So this portion over here represents from 0 to 3 it represents 3 furlong From this point to this point we have 3 furlong uh, sorry we have three mile one furlong from this point to this point we have three miles two furlongs and we have three miles five furlong three miles five furlong one chain three miles five furlong two chains three mile five furlongs three chains that's it so guys that was all about this particular question and that's exactly how you need to go about your task so guys, that was all from my side. If you like the content and presentation in this video, do give it a big thumbs up and try to share it as much as possible. And guys, if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing, then do recommend this channel and encourage your friends to subscribe to this channel so that all of you can learn engineering drawing in the best possible way. Until then, it's a wrap for today. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep drawing, man.